Well, hey, y'all, up there in the great white north. Remember Bob and Doug McKenzie? Yeah, I'm, I'm going back like years and years and years, folks. And they had Getty Lee from Rush singing a song for him. It went something like this. Go, 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 go. To the great white north. <laughs> something something like that but hey everybody in the great white north welcome to jacksonville florida where it's you know a beautiful day in the neighborhood it's just another beautiful day in the neighborhood What am I doing? Well, this is a video that is so off topic for me. All right, so I am using this trim and bumper paint from Rust-Oleum, and I'm using it underneath my, let me turn it off for a second so you can see. See that light? I got two of them. Woo! I gotta turn it off or it'll blind you. See that right there? That is one bad mammer jammer right here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but this is on my Tools of the Trade page. This is just a, a light that plugs into any socket. Check it out. And then we'll get back to why I'm using that Rust-Oleum paint. But look at all those LEDs. You can point it places. You can have it like, like this. And you can use it as a shop light. You can sit it down and, and point lights like that. It's just really super cool. And then guess where else I got another one? I not only have one in the garage that used to be like the, the dungeon... But check this out. I got one up there too. Right there. Watch this. Bam! Lights up the whole Jetty Wolf. You see many times when it starts to get dark at like 5, 6 o'clock. I'm still out here. And I still need to be working on stuff. It looks like a ceiling fan. So if you're looking for like a unique Christmas present or something for somebody who has a dungeon like I do, here's the light that used to be. Here's a before. Oh my gosh. Look at that. And then I had one like little light bulb over here just hanging in this thing. Then let me show you an after. An after with one of these. And the whole thing is it just has a socket. So you can use this as a shop light. You can put it on an extension cord. You can work under cars with this. You can put this under a car and illuminate it. You can sit it down like that and point these up, one up into a car, one forward. I mean, this is just a handy little thing here, man. And it's very well built. This dissipates the heat. It's got all these LEDs, like 6,000 lumen or something. There's a whole bunch, but I, I got this brand here. It's called a deformable lamp. Deformable. Hmm, I don't think that really translates from Chinese to English or English to Chinese very well, does it? So let me show you the after. So if you went and you got anything like this off of my Amazon Tools of the Trade page, you're directly supporting other reviews and I got a video coming up here shortly I've put it in my video description like I don't know 20 times but I know you you know everybody's on a phone and on a phone you don't even know where a video description is and if you're on a computer you know it's short attention span theater so like you might watch the video you comment real quick and boom you're off right 
Well, I've said it in the video description below the video, uh, like I said 20 times, that if you have something cool that you'd like to see a video done, a review or a show and tell or something, you can contact me at my email at jettywolf at gmail.com and I'll give you my uh, address and you can ship it to me if you want and I'll do a review and I'll ship it back if you, you know, you want it back or if it's just something in your garage or you want to donate something to the channel. And I got one coming up here because Oral Walk, old Gary up at Long Island, the guy who has gone the extra mile helping me work on my Suzuki, my trim and tilt uh, motor ex exchange that I did a few weeks ago, he sent me an entire box of stuff and I'm going to show you what he sent. I'm just trying to get a little more interactive. Other, other channels do it. And I always say to myself, why can't we? Why can't we do anything cool? YouTube's constantly saying, get creative with your viewers and all. And I tr I've tried everything and nobody pays attention. Nobody gives a crap, I guess. Gary did. So he sent me a whole box of stuff. And in the future here, I'm going to go over it. It's laying out right now. So let me show you the after. You remember what the before looked like. Let me show you the after. All right, there's the after. Back here in the corner. I'm actually seeing spots in my eyes right now because I had to look at that thing. Oh my God, it'll burn your retina. There's different grades of one, but this one is highly, highly bright. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, I love this thing. It is a great, great shop light. What I was doing is I was showing you this Rust-Oleum trim and bumper paint. There's a lot of videos on YouTube about it, but what I'm doing is I'm painting my grill on my truck because it's that plasticky 2008 Dodge 2500. It's full of plastic crap. I did not buy it for the sheer fact that it was a good looking truck. I bought it for the sheer fact that I got it for 15 grand. It had 30,000 miles on it. It was as clean as a whistle. When I came home, I could do an entire full delete on it for 500 bucks because it's a diesel. It's a Cummins 6.7. The only thing I wish, yeah, it's got an automatic. I kind of wish it was a standard transmission. So here is this plasticky grill. It was black, but it was grayish black. Because remember, it's been sitting out in the sun, ungaraged since 2008. So let me go on out here and show you how well that stuff does work on those plastic and steel bumpers. Now granted, it's dirty. I cleaned it right with uh, acetone. This is plastic right here. That's plastic. And this down here is metal. So I taped it all off. I cleaned it with acetone and then I shot some self-etching primer on the entire thing. And then after all that was dry, I put on the Rust-Oleum uh, trim and bumper paint. Here's the front. I did the front too. Now right in here, I've tried everything. Right in here, it was all that, remember, you know how that plastic grays out? I mean, it looks like absolute crap. But this is plastic. And down here it's all metal. So as you can see, looks pretty good and it's several weeks old now all right yeah this truck isn't the most prettiest thing in the world and the old uh, that's the reason I bought it right there is this thing is a towing pulling machine and there's my block off plate <laughs> so but I highly recommend this stuff. If you have, um, you know, if you have this plastic bumper crap, 
making these trucks all out of plastic and everything. But this was all faded. Oh, don't forget, that's super positively, absolutely the facts. God bless America. All right, so there's just a little walk and talk vlog showing you a little this and a little that. And then, oh yeah, wait a minute, let's go back up here. Bam! Daylight, folks. Don't forget, Amazon Tools of the Trade page. My little giant ladder. I don't know what you use, Gary, to be working on these outboards, but boy, I'll tell you, that right there. I used to have wooden steps to get in the boat, and those wooden steps that I made, they lasted about five years, and they just went to garbage, just rotted. But look how bright it is up in here. Granted, it's daytime, but it is fantastically bright at night. Okay, beware. There's the light up there. I used to have spotlights, and they really sucked. This light is also on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. And the only reason I'm telling you all this is for the sheer fact that it's getting to be that time of year. Let me turn my battery switch off here. It's getting to be that time of year when you gotta find that nice little present for mom and pop or brother or sister or something like that and um, I mean I've got all these wonderful things that you know at the same time helps me out because I haven't done any super reviews of anything lately but I'm hoping to so this isn't really a review of that light I mean, it's just a show and tell showing you. All right, so that light is really cool. Uh, this is not a review of this, but it's a show and tell because of the fact that um, you can get this stuff at Walmart, anything. I've been picking it up at Wally's World. Restores trim and bumpers, stops rust, renews OEM black finishes. And it does have something about it. It does have something about it that makes it, it's a very quality, when it goes on, paint. I did the same thing. Um, yeah, I'm using a wheelbarrow here as, as a workbench because uh, I got all this other crap on my workbench here. All right, and then I got all this crap on my workbench too. Fish baskets and rags and a grinder and a pump-up sprayer and my buckets and my there's my pump for doing my oh that's right I'm gonna be using this pump coming up here probably in December coming up soon I don't know see I'm getting my prostate augered out on the 3rd of January so I'm gonna be laid up for a week yeah prostate augering isn't that wonderful um, so I am going to be doing the rid lime. Uh, I'm going to be doing the rid lime on the Suzuki again uh, in the barrel with a gallon of rid lime. I'm going to take the anodes out of the back again and I'm going to run it through because I'm going to do this about every three to four months and I just want to see and I will be doing a video about that also. So I want to see how much trash comes out of it in three months worth of running up and down the St. John's River. So that's this, that's that light. Check it out, check out the light. I'll have the link to my Amazon Tools of the Trades page as I do all the time in every single video. It's in the video description, but like I said, I know everybody's a short attention span theater. So, um, yeah, there's my Ozark Trail round cooler thing. God, I love that thing. I just like it. I just like it. Don't have that on my Amazon Tools of the Trades page. If I did, I'd be uh, telling you about it, but it's at Wally's World. So this is just a little shoot the breeze with y'all. All right, so that's that. Rostolium trim and bumper paint. If you got one of them ugly looking trucks 
Mama always said don't buy no ugly truck. What was that, an old GMC commercial or Chevy commercial? Well, I don't have a pretty truck, but it's prettier now because both bumpers and this grill is, is redone in black. That's my whole color scheme, black and white. And with a lot of lettering. <laughs> if you're behind me in traffic and my black bumper is shining in your eyes, where you're like, holy smokes, Dave, is that that Rust-Oleum trim and bumper paint? Just give a toot and a wave and I'll go, yeah, brother, that's it. Alrighty, so I know this one's too long and I gotta get that, I gotta get that grill back on my truck. So, there's things coming up here in the future. There's gonna be a sit down with the Gary box, or a walk, sent that box full of all kinds of cool stuff, and I will give you a hint. You wanna see a hint? This is a hint of something he sent. I'm gonna flash it, but I'm not gonna show you. I'm gonna flash it. Woo! Did you see that? Yeah, baby. Who let them dogs out? I'll see you later. <laughs>